everyone welcome back to my channel uh, it's been a while i haven't been uh, making any video content since uh, months ago basically i'm going back to my other hobbies which is woodworking so i'm just up finishing upgrading my workshop down there in the garage with uh, recent tools and making jigs and everything so i haven't been able to focus on the simulation yet actually i'm preparing the workshop for creating a full cockpit size of a320 back then but anyway so there's another project to come so um last time i talked about dcs fighter jet but the war broke up in ukraine so my conscience tell me not really you know good showing off the airplane and jet fighter so anyway i stopped playing dcs for a while um I, yeah for making video I, I guess but then focusing on the workshop now i'm going back in making video about uh fs 2020 because there is several big launches uh, on the aircraft recently which is the boeing 737 from pmdg and also recently the phoenix a320 ceo aircraft okay so uh, because i'm focusing on airbus so i opt to focus on phoenix a320 ceo models rather than the boeing because the boeing i have to relearn everything again so anyway um the f this video is not about reviewing the airplane because the aircraft has been reviewed many people have done it and already playing uh in you know in uh, stream or whatever so i'm focusing on how to bind the controllers so the first time when i try phoenix is the controllers so i'm having difficulties in in uh, trying to rebind every controller that i have to phoenix okay uh, previously if you s saw my other videos about flying fs 2020 using a 320 nx uh, from fly by wire i'm using a semi full cockpit uh, with diy controller so i have a lot of controllers need to bind to be bounded into the phoenix so i'm looking around the information but cannot find it okay so here is the video about it so let's go dive in okay before i go uh if you see my other videos i have a uh, kind of uh, DIY cockpit uh, where I, I put a lot of things uh, on the left is uh, Airbus uh, controllers uh, from Trustmaster and in the center there's an FCU panel that I created my own so there's a lot of uh, like you can adjust your altitude attitude and then um, the, the the heading I mean and then also the speed and everything so it's all there and can be bind and then below it there's a Kogar uh, HUD button so I use that for lightings in uh, A32NX fly by wire for example and next to it there's a honeycomb uh, Bravo that I'm using its switches and controllers uh, some of it to control uh, some other functions like radio uh, auto brake and everything and then on the far right there's a landing gear lever that I create DIY so it's very kind of more authentic so i put it far on the right side and on the below honeycomb bravo there is a um, cast register keyboard that i configured as the m mcdo uh, keyboard so that's that's very handy also i'm not using pad or ipad or uh, android tablets to to control it because um well, i anyway I, see, I i i need to see it in the screen so i just need a keyboard or mcdo and on the pedestal you can see there's a trustmaster hot ass um sorry hot trustmaster throttle quadrants and then uh, the brake the um, the spoilers and uh, flaps lever and uh, parking brake and several other controllers on the overhead panels i have my own diy uh, switches and buttons to control key uh, switches which i use for normal flights so of course there's uh like during emergency those kind of things are not covered uh with the overhead panels that i created so as i mentioned i'm planning to build a full cockpit of a320 
uh, in the near future so I'm preparing all of the things to be more accurate anyway so there's plenty things to be bind into the Phoenix so when I'm trying to look for that information um, I cannot find the information about binding the controller into Phoenix uh, A320 CEO because um, as you can see I have a lot of controller to bind right so I've been looking around and landed into this website actually let me show you the website this is the website so uh, the link is actually I put it down in the descriptions uh, Phoenix uh, 19919629 whatever dot hotelsierrasites.com so this is phoenix simulation knowledge base so there's several menu here uh, i think it's quite similar with fly by wire and uh, a320 uh, nx uh, website at the time so i thought it would be more comprehensive but here they uh, when i go to how to and the first line here called example of how to bind switches knobs and buttons on the a320 to external hardware so this is the one so i click it and there's actually a very interesting information here on how to uh, bind the switches knob buttons to external hardware so this article should give an idea on how to use lfars uh, and how to bind them to external controllers like hotest or midi controller hmm. so this is the one and hit mention specifically you can either read them via third-party software like spat.next or axis and os so here is the file that kind of uh, listed all the variables that's being used by phoenix a320 you can find it in your community folders and then you go to fnx aircraft 320 same object airplane fnx 320 model F then you can find the fnx 320 interior.xml so there is a variable name under the the column i'll show you later on and then there they even give example on how to manipulate the value uh, using axis and o's unfortunately i'm not using axis and o's i'm using spot.next it's i just you know familiar with that in my previous build anyway so um and i have a several video uh, down below on how to use the spot.next setting up for a32 nx uh, fly by wire so i'm not going to go into spot.next uh, guideline here so you i assume you have to be familiar with spot.next spot dot next but here i'm going to show you on how you can access the variable from the phoenix a320 in this video i'm not gonna go through all about on how to use the spot dot next i assume you have to be familiar with it so i'm, I'm just going to show you on how you're going to access the variables from phoenix a320 and then trying to bind into your controller okay okay i'm going to show you another file actually this is the xml file that i already take take it from my community folder if you open up this file and just copy it to another folder to be safe and you can open it and you can see there's a white color uh this is a variable so basically there's a variable name with uh, like this s um um o h uh, fire engine one agent one and s o h fire engine two and you know there's a lot of uh variable here i think s indicate a switch while there is a variable let me find some variable there's a lot of variable here so uh uh, there is a variable name uh, let me find yeah uh, this one is variable name uh, leading with the uh, with the i not s so i means probably indicators or, or the the lighting or something the status so this is related to brightness annunciator so most of the i variables relate to the status of the lights probably i haven't tried it but i think you can read it uh, from your mobile flight or something and then trying to light up your cockpit for example uh, and there's another one uh, i think with the a a alpha so that is i think annunciators at something so i haven't really tried with that but i'm interested in the s first because i want to have the input bind into my controller so the s is the one that you are uh interested 
if you are trying to bind the controllers okay so this is the file of the xml i i already um uh, extracted and converted into the excel i already uploaded the excel into my google drive so i put it the link down below if you want to access the files the xml and also this file excel files I already converted into it the xml to excel file and then list down so you can find all the the key by category here you can filter uh, which category you want to find or search directly on the variable name that you want to manipulate this is the basically the animation name so you just probably much more clearer here rather than reading this variable on what it is anyway so i have put some comment that i've already found the value uh, which I need to change for example in this part of next command so you need just to set the chain uh, change the LVAR basically to 1 if it's pressed 0 to release so that's how you read it or 1 to on 0 to off something like that or even some have triple value 0 1 and 2 uh, for stroke for example because it's three level switches and some other things like you know the wiper now the wi interestingly the wiper is now easy to manipulate here compared to a 32 uh, nx for example because in a through a 32 nx uh, fly by wire it's very difficult to manipulate because they, i think they haven't prepared the variable properly anyway another thing said um this the, sorry this time is very easy just change from the value uh zero off one slow two fast this is captain side uh, fo side and uh, non-smoking also three level uh what else uh, yeah those kind of things so landing light everything this is the one that i already uh, manipulate and there's a lot of uh, value that you can try to manipulate directly uh, without causing problems so it's very actually very smooth so if you see uh it structures like this S. Um, this is switch. So if you scroll down, there's some A here, annunciator, and some I, I think, for indicators down there, down below. And and I don't know what is N for, not yet, or probably uh, numeric, I guess. Yeah, number, number. So if you want to get the number from the um, altimeters, for example, and then show it in your seven segment uh, in your cockpit, I think you you will get this from this variable so it's very structured uh, this one is for mcdo for example on the no no sorry this is the cd yeah this is yeah this is the mcdo the cdu this is uh, captain side and then fo side so it's it's actually very structured the variables compared to a320 which is i think it's a mix between fs2020 variables uh native variables and then the, their own creation of variables uh, this one because it's fully created external uh, by Phoenix, so it's very clear. Okay, it's very uh, uh, structured, so you can find easily the variables that you want to read or you want to manipulate uh, directly uh, from the yeah from the LFAR. So yeah, it's very easy. Uh, I've actually I've I don't have any issues in creating the. Or changing the value so I'll show you a bit on uh, a few settings that I've created uh, in spot of next because it's going to be a long video to cover the whole I have five video just to cover a 320 NX fly by wire setting on uh, down below the link but this one I just want to show you how you're gonna set up uh, uh, the value into your controllers okay so let me close this file you want to find that excel you you can find in the google link uh, google drive uh, in the description the link is on the description okay so i have created uh, uh i put a window mode in my f uh, microsoft so i can show you both uh, the spot.next and uh, okay uh, and also the the flight so let me uh i'm in bali and using uh air asia here let's come on portugal let's fly okay oh forgot anyway i'm going to end up in the runway <laughs> so it's okay uh but uh let me uh go into this path next so first thing ensure the um uh, 
it's going to log in um, to ensure that the setting you you have to create from either new profile or I'm copying from my AT2NX uh, setting so I already have my Phoenix so activate that profile so you don't get the wrong one being set up okay so first thing first you can go into uh, data monitor here and uh, let's say you want to at L4 uh, you can monitor all the uh, variables being used in this sims here okay so you can see here uh, there is an S hydraulic and the value also you can see if you want to know what value is actually being used for that variables of course you have to be careful I think it's very easy if it's S or A or I or N prefix here and then underscore it should be Phoenix uh, variable but if you see a 32 NX uh, this one is not for Phoenix okay so you you can find uh, which variable you want to find and monitors from this prefix of the S I N or A I'm gonna use the S for the switches so yeah so this just for the look for the S if you want to find what value is being activated uh, if you change something in your simulation so you can try to manipulate here in the simulation and trying to see what value actually come up with them this is how I found one of the key which is the external power which is not the uh, zero and one but incremental two which is very odd anyway I don't know why they do it but I find the changes here and then I try to increment the by two it working well okay so let me show you okay so here I am in the cockpit of the Phoenix already hmm. let me check I think I, okay I'm setting it as a cold and dark so I think they're gonna shut down in a few minutes okay that's it now I let me uh, go into uh, let's see okay so this is the overhead panels you can see the overhead panels let's say if you want to bind the battery okay this is battery one so what you're gonna do is you're gonna look here if you want to electrical for example this is battery one uh, then you have to look for uh, something if you want to try to get here no if you see here battery one is called uh, s o h elect electrical battery one so this one is the name of the variable to change so i think you have to find it here but let let because you already know here so you can go direct to the controller let's say i have a top panel uh, let's see top top panel one so if you see here in the spot of next if i manipulate my controller let me check the controller okay so it's number two and this is battery number one right so if you can see here it's already on okay so let me switch off first so you can see okay so here let's say I want to manipulate these two buttons that I've just pressed into a battery so I already create a link but let me so here I just go through uh, the process so what you you can do in spot neck is adding event so let me press short for example and then then you try to create a process here right so what I did is actually I do a double check just for um, uh, good purposes in programming again if it's zero this uh, this variable is zero meaning it's off then you can switch it on basically but if it's one the press is actually switching off okay not on so just to check the this is the conditional uh, uh, formatting on the spot next so I uh, adding condition and then select this value so just add condition and select data here is the um, let me find the battery and you can see here uh, as battery one L bar okay so I'm checking this one and okay and then equals to zero for example okay so this is how you select the conditions and then you go to action again change data value and select and then you go to battery again that just now let me uh, let me do that so I can uh, delete uh, later on uh, where is it oops sorry I think I make a mistake okay okay uh, this one is let's say battery one 
and oh battery two this one is battery two okay like this and then set to one here okay and then okay then you will end up with this right um this is how i set up the the battery so uh, two things which is first of all you set up the press which is from zero to one meaning switch it on but for for some purposes uh, my experience if you use push button in Sparta next when you try to toggle uh, either you create a toggle switch from uh, this configure button uh, sorry from the inside of this you can create a toggle button also uh, you can do that but if you don't want to you can just button release conditional then uh, read the opposite uh, condition which is the equals to one if it's equals to one then switch it off okay um, sorry if you don't understand this you have to be able to program in spot.next first just practice with a simple one and then um, you get what I meant okay so just these two condition condition for button one so let me check if I press this one okay so it's battery one is on battery two is off so if I press second button then the battery is on okay so I'm I'm it didn't touch my mouse mouse, mouse here so I really bind my uh, battery into the here the other things that okay they just starting the setting so another thing says I want to bind the external uh, let me find the external is on the top panel too okay so I have bind the, the external power but it's a, that's why I, it's different not zero and one but incremental two I don't know why they do it but let me check if you I press my hardware controller my mouse in on the left so I press it it will give external power right so let me turn it off again uh, what what is the button on oh, number four so here's number four here you can see is increment uh, and then just increment by this without even toggling you just need to add two every time you push it will toggle by itself so it's very odd I don't know but it's working so what I did is actually I just add action change that a value and then uh, external power here let me find Alex uh, here where is it external external here okay uh, here's the variable uh, s uh, oh like external power l far here you can see the value is 8 but but it's keep increasing like 10 12 14 each time you press it will increase so that's what I found in the data monitor here in Spartan X. So I did try to increment her. So let's say I choose this one. Which one? Sorry. Come on. Okay, this one. Let's say okay. And then try to set increment and then two here. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, two. Okay. And then okay. So you will get this comment. Okay. Okay, so that is how you set up the external power. That's it. And then every time you press, it will set uh, uh, external power on or off. Okay, I just show you just now. So let me turn off. So I press the button on my overhead controller, switch on. Okay, so that's it. So this is how you set your, uh, then I have set, uh, I think I have set, most of it uh, the one that I use the lighting here the sign in here the interior light dome wiper so if you want to see the wiper here let me show you I put the captain seat wiper uh, let me show you the window so you can see the the wiper if I put slow and fast off so I'm just manipulating my hardware it's working very fine I having problem setting this wiper in A32NX fly by wire but here you know it's very easy so it's just completing the uh, self test so if you can see here uh, I have setting oxygen crew supply uh, that's it and adheres and into nav adheres to 
there's three and let's say navigation logo light stroke to auto and what else uh, no smoking light auto uh, sign arm seat belt on for example and then uh, dome light to bright for example okay so I can also set my fuel uh, let's put all the fuel pump I'm not touching any mouse here I'm just touching my controllers uh, on my overhead and I can push my APU fire test and then engine fire test and then engine to fire test I can use my packs on or off actually packs off okay off off pack one off pack two off I can set my wing anti ice uh, on oops sorry yeah engine to it I can treat my APU master switch and then APU start and then APU bleed okay I can switch off APU bleed so why I want to use my overhead because during hectic landing you know using mouse is really kind of cumbersome so my overhead panels really help me uh, speed up the process because I'm a single pilot anyway without any co-pilot so it's kind of like very hectic situation so you have to be able to reach the switch on reflex so the overhead panels DIY I created helped me a lot with that one okay so can switch off lighting landing light nose light runway turn off and a lot of thing okay so I can turn off everything here as you can see uh, I'm turn off uh, back to normal you bleed external power off and then battery off so as you can see um, I'm putting it back into the cold and start uh, a cold and dark startup uh, position for example using my external control hardware I just complete the overhead setting I haven't complete uh, anything else so I, I bound to to buy my FCU as you can see in uh, in my here my cockpit I need to bind this FCU and I need to bind my Mac do from this uh, cash regi register keyboard uh, so yeah I need still a lot of thing to do in terms of binding but I just want to show you on how I bind the key uh, right now in Phoenix A320 so you can set up your home cockpit uh, right away and I think if you have Mobi flight I think you can read all those variable in N or I or A uh, rather than S as mostly for inputs into the sim while the rest uh, prefix I think showing the variables to be read from the simulations okay so hopefully this help uh, yeah help you answer I think you can bind anything I, I, I can bind my uh, honeycomb bravo I can bind my Trustmaster uh, Cougar uh, or even the Airbus engine startup I can do that now from here rather than from inside the flaps the spoilers the timer the clocks I can try to bind it into any key that I have right now in my cockpit as you can see I have a lot of button here and switches that I can use just to put the controller uh, into the Phoenix A320 for a while of course I'm building up a full-size cockpit of A320 hopefully uh, that will give much more realistic but 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 again you probably might questions me is that a waste of buying the software <laughs> because it have such a beautiful graphics inside the cockpits and then you put your cockpit uh, real cockpit uh, you know in your room well of course uh, there always be um, a trade-off being, being uh, 
beautiful graphic but you see it in the monitors while you are in the real cockpit right the the other alternatives that i haven't really tried is actually using um vr so i think vr might be the way to go you can use vr to really uh, immerse yourself but then you lose the hardware control visibility right you cannot reach the uh, buttons and switches properly i guess using vr at this moment so yeah there's always a trade-off so i'm gonna build the cockpit anyway so this is my dream so I, I i it's a challenging job so uh challenging task i guess uh i don't know if i can make it or not but yeah despite this beautiful cockpit graphics um yeah i just need to build <laughs> the real cockpit uh, so I'm prepare all the laser cutting, the PCBs and the switches I already bought, but that I need to 3D modeling it and put it in uh, in the acrylic panels and everything. So I have built a smaller one, which is the FA18 DCS, but this one is a major undertaking, and you know, but I've seen a lot of video, and I think I can make it. Okay, uh, but just need times. It takes me a year to build hornet's cockpit so this one i don't know <laughs> we'll see but anyway i can build in stages so i can still enjoy the aircraft while flying the you know half-made cockpit okay so that's it and by the way just using my current cockpit uh, the the sim semi open <laughs> not the real one but with the all the switches as mentioned i can do single uh, flying with ease because uh, I can switch on lights, um, you know, without reaching the mouse. Uh, it's very hot and cumbersome. So with this new control binding, at least I can enjoy the beautiful graphic in my big 65-inch uh, TV in front of me uh, while I'm reaching, uh, you know, hardware controllers. Um, and I can use my um, uh, track IR just to see the uh the panels for example so i've i've made a lot of video about flying a 32nx fly by wire using that setup now i'm trying to set and bind the key and switches into phoenix and i'll fly phoenix soon okay so hopefully this video helps sorry for a bit long video but with my commentary probably not helpful but i hope you can see all the variables and try to bind to your own home cockpit okay so see you next time when we fly bye bye